My name is Eddie Blom, I'm the owner of Cape Venison. I will explain today the process of making Kuru uh, You need to use uh, a leg muscle. Uh, we will use today the uh, silver side of the kudu. Firstly, you need to get your bowl where you're going to put your baltong in. Um, you will take some spice and spice at the bottom of the bowl. Spice you will use about 40 grams per one kilo of meat. After you've spiced uh, the, the bottom of the bowl, you will then cut your silver sides in strips and you will lay the strips on the spice that you've just put in the bowl. Uh, you will cut another strip and you will do it then layer by layer. After you've put all your baltong strips in, you will then take some vinegar. You use around about 25 milliliter to 50 milliliter per kilo of meat. So you will just place some vinegar on the baltong strips. After you've put the vinegar on, you will then take your spice and spice your baltong. Remember not to use any Worcester sauce, because most of the baltong spice contain a taste that has got a strong Worcester sauce flavor. After you've done with your spicing, you will then leave it overnight between 10 to 12 hours and hang it up to dry. This is now three to four days later. Our Kuru Boltong has been dried. We also sell these Springbok and Kuru wash that you can dry in the comfort of your own home. And we're going to serve this platter up with a nice glass of the Grendel Chardonnay.